Hello and welcome to today's health education lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin with our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. And when you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then let's go down low and touch our toes. Back up high one more time. And this time, let's go tippy toe high. And while we're there, we can have a wave side to side. And then back down to touch our toes. Excellent, guys. And then we can shake it out. Arms and legs, shake it out. And now we'll do some rotations. We'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Now, we'll do some stretches. Let's do five stretches to our right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Excellent. And then, we'll do five stretches to our left. One. Two. Three, four, five. Very good. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So in our previous health education lesson, we learned about games and how games can be fun and how they can be good for exercising too. Now, in particular, we focused on one particular type of game, which is when we pretend to be other things or to follow a leader. Does anybody remember what type of game we played in the previous lesson? Imitation. Imitation games, yes. So let's write that phrase on the board first. 
imitation, I M I T A T I O N. Imitation. And the word imitation means to pretend to be something else, like an animal, an object, or another person. And game, G A M E S. So, all together, guys, imitation games. Excellent. And what we're going to do as a recap to the previous lesson is we're going to have our students come forward and choose a piece of paper out of the bowl. There is an animal or maybe something else on that piece of paper. So whatever animal our student picks, they remember not to say anything. You have to imitate or act that animal. And the rest of our students will try to guess what animal or person or object is being imitated. So what I need first, I will need my chair and I will have a bowl, a bowl with different pieces of paper in. So now I would like to choose my first student. Lackgau, come and join me at the front of class. Whatever you choose, don't say anything. Cat. Excellent. Brilliant from Lackgau. High five and a big round of applause. Okay, now, Bang Pond's turn. Okay, so choose one piece. Don't tell anybody. Birds. Birds, yes. High five, Bang Pond. Big round of applause for Bang Pond, please, guys. And now, for Preo. Any piece of paper? <laughs> what was it again? Pig. Pig, correct. Preo, that was excellent. Big round of applause for Preo. Now down's ten. Okay, down. Let's see what we've got. Shark. Shark. Excellent, down. High five. Big round of applause for down. Everybody's very good at the imitation game. Two. Your turn at the front. Okay, so choose one piece of paper. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Dog, yes. Chew, very good. High five, big round of applause for Chew. Now, Nadia's turn. Nadia, join me at the front. Your turn to play the imitation game. Okay, and you can stand this side for me. Okay, here we go. Nadia, teacher, not tiger. <laughs> okay, do tiger. Can you do teacher? Okay, high five. Big round of applause for Nadia. <laughs> Pat, your turn at the front. And stand this side for me, please. Okay. Now, Pat's turn. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Monkey, yes. Well done, Pat. High five. Big round of applause for Pat. And now, Pat Bung. Inside for me. So there's two pieces left. One for Pat Bung. Okay. Elephant is correct, well done, and well acted, well imitated, Pak Bung. And now we have one more student. So, Net, come and join me at the front. It's your turn to play the imitation game. So stand this side for me and choose the final piece of paper. Dog. 
horse. Yes, horse. This one was horse. But well acted, Net. That one was good. <laughs> High five and a big round of applause for Net. <laughs> big round of applause for everybody, guys, because you all did the imitation game very, very well. <laughs> and what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to move on from looking at games we're going to look at another type of physical activity. The activities that we're looking at in today's lesson, guys, sports. sports. Yes, so let's write that word on the board first. Sports, S-P-O-R-T-S. All together, sports. sports. Now, the main difference between games and sports Games are things that we play for fun. They're not really serious. We do games when we want to have fun and relax by ourselves or with friends. But the difference with sports is sport is usually when we're playing in a competition. We can play by ourselves or we can play with other team members. But the thing about sports is that it's always usually in competition with somebody else or another team. Now guys, who can name some sports for me? Chairball. Chair yes, chairball is a very popular game or sport in Thailand. So we'll write chairball. C-H-A-I-R. Now what do we play chairball with? A ball. So you'll notice lots of sports, if they're played in English with a ball, they will end Ball, B-A-L-L, -L. chair ball, volleyball is another one, V-O-L-L-E-Y, and then ball, football again, F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L, -L. so notice, chair ball, volleyball, Football. Football, and then I hear them, basketball, B-A-S-K-E-T-B-A-L-L. -E -L. The majority of sports in English, if they're played with a ball, they will end all. Chair ball, ball. Volleyball. volleyball, football, football. basketball. basketball. Any others? Any other types of sports? Badminton, yes. Is badminton played with a ball? No. no. Badminton isn't, so it's not badminton, but <laughs> badminton, B-A-D-M-I-N-T-O-N. Tennis. Tennis is a good one. T-E-N-N-I-S. Any others? How about in Thailand? Any popular sports in Thailand? I know football and share, but running, yes. Running is a sport. Sometimes we can run to compete against other people. And that is also a sport. Any others? What type of sports have you seen on TV? Swimming, excellent. Swimming is another sport too. S. W-I-M-M-I-N-G. Have you guys heard of a sports competition called Olympics? The Olympics is something that happens every four years. And every four years, it's in a different place. For example, next year, 2020, is the next Olympics. Does anybody know where it is? Not far, Japan. The next Olympics is in Tokyo, Japan, and they will have all of these different sports because what the Olympics is, is the biggest competition in the world for everyone to compete in all of the different sports. So let's look at the sports we've said so far, guys. Chair ball, volleyball, volleyball football, football, swimming, basketball, basketball tennis, tennis, badminton, Running. 
And that's just a few examples of some of the sports we know already. Guys, that was brilliant, very well done. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at a PowerPoint presentation and look at sports. And in particular, the two different types of sports. First of all, the sports we play by ourselves. And then secondly, the sports we play with others as part of a team. So now let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about sports. Yes, and as we've learnt already, sports quite often involve playing with a ball. And if we look in the photo closely here, we can see lots of different types of balls. Who knows what sport this ball is for? Football. Football. And then? Basketball. Basketball. Well done, guys. Yes. How about the smaller white one? Golf. Golf. Excellent. And this funny shaped one here, like an egg. Football, but not normal football, American football. And then this one here. Similar to a tennis ball, but not quite, baseball. Yes, so you can see all the different types of balls used for some of the different sports. Playing sports is a great way for us to exercise and maintain our physical fitness. Yes, and you can see the four sports here. We have football, running, volleyball, and tennis. Yes, so sports is a great way to exercise and keep fit. There are two different types of sports that we can play. Individual sports and team sports. Now the word individual means alone, only one person. For example, look at this picture here. Does anybody know what sport this is? Snooker, yes. And snooker is a game we play by ourselves. So that's what we call individual sport. Yes, we don't need to be with other team members. We can play against somebody else by ourselves. But then, what sport is this? Football. Yes, this is women's football. This is girls playing football. Now, is the girl alone? No, you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different girls as part of a team. So this is what we mean by team sport. So the two types, individual sport, alone, one person, and then team sport. Team sports can have different numbers of members. Like football is 11, or volleyball I think is less, maybe six or seven, but still part of a team. Individual sports are sports that we play by ourselves. So let's take a look at some examples of individual sports. You've got one already guys, well done, snooker or pool, golf. Golf is another example of individual sport. We play golf by ourselves. Boxing. boxing, yes. It could be Muay Thai, or it could be boxing, like we do in America and England. This is Western boxing. We box by ourselves, not as part of a team, same as Muay Thai. If we do Muay Thai, the man will fight by himself against somebody else. Individual sports. Swimming. Swimming is another sport we do by ourselves. Tennis. And this sport, anybody know skiing? Yes. Skiing is a sport we can do, but what do we need 
if we're going to ski? What can we see all around? Not grass, snow. Yes, skiing is a sport they do in cold countries where they have lots of snow. Because you can see here, these things that are attached to the man's feet are called skis. And they're used to slide across the snow. And this sport is skiing. Team sports are sports that we play together with others. Yes, we'll have other members as part of our team. Now let's have a look here. How many people can we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And notice they're all members of the same team because they're all wearing the same uniform. This is an example of team sports. So let's take a look at some others. Baseball. Yes. Remember before that ball we've seen in the picture, the small, hard, white one? Here it is again. Baseball. Basketball. Yes. Basketball is another team sport. Volleyball. Cycling. Yes. This is the sport we call bicycle racing. It's a special word, cycling. And you can see here, look at all these men. They're all wearing the same uniform and they're even riding the same bike. They're all members of the same cycling team. And once again, football. So what we'll do before we finish, because you have to practice yourself soon, let's practice the different sports names again. Golf. Boxing, Boxing. Swimming. swimming, tennis, swimming. Skiing. skiing, individual sports, individual. only one. But then, baseball, baseball. Basketball. basketball, volleyball, basketball. Cycling. cycling, and football, football. are team sports. So you know the difference between individual and team sports. Any questions, guys? That was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation so they can learn about the different types of sports. And in today's lesson, we're focusing on the two groups of sports in particular. Individual sports are the sports we can play by ourselves and team sports, the ones that we play as part of a team with other team members. And soon we've got a flash exercise for our students to practice telling the difference between the two. But well, first of all, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we can begin by walking on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Jogging quickly on the spot. Stop. Jogging on the spot. Quickly on the spot. Stop. Turn left. Turn left again. Turn left. And left. Hello. Jogging on the spot. Quickly, stop walking on the spot. Stop, turn left, turn right, <laughs> jogging on the spot. Quickly, stop, turn right, turn right again, turn right and right. Hello. And to finish, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And now it's time for the flashcard part of our lesson. So, teachers, what you'll need to do 
is print out all the flash sheets of the different sports and have them ready for our students to choose from. But first of all, guys, we need our two categories. So who can remember? What do we call the sports that we play by ourselves? And anybody remember? If we play a sport, only one person, what's it called? Individual sports, yes. Individual. I N D I V I D U L A. Individual means only one, alone. And then sports. S P O R T S. Individual sports. And then, if we play a sport with other members of the same team sports. T E A M S P O R T S. Team sports. So, one more time, guys. Individual sports. Team sports. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give our students a flashcard each, one at a time. They have to bring the flashcard forward, decide what type of sport it is, and place it on the board and write the name of that sport correctly. So let's begin. Let's close our eyes, guys. And the first flashcard now is with Net. So Net, bring your flashcard to the front of class. Let's see if we can guess the sport that Net's got, guys. Basketball is correct. Now, do we play basketball alone or with other people? Basketball is a team sport. Correct. So, Net, it can go on this side of the board, and then we can help Net to spell the sport basketball. B A S K E T, and then ball, B, A, L, L. Excellent, Net. Very well done. So we can say together, guys, basketball, team sport. Can you say, Net? Basketball, team sport. Okay, well done, Net. High five and a big round of applause for Net, please, guys. Okay, so on to our next flashcard and our next student. And the next flashcard is now with Pak Bung. So Pak Bung, come and join me at the front of class. Now guys, let's see if we can guess what sport does Pak Bung have. Golf is correct. Now is golf a team sport? No, correct. Golf is an individual sport. We play it alone as one person. So how do we spell golf? G-O-L-F. Correct. So all together, guys, we can say golf, individual, sports. Pak Bung, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pak Bung, please, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and play on with your students for the next 10 minutes or so. And remember, always to use a different student and a different flashcard. And then, when they're ready, have all of the students practice speaking together. And we're going to carry on playing here now. So let's see who's next. The next flashcard is with Pat. So Pat's turn to come and join me at the front of class. Let's see. Who can remember what sport this is? Cycling. Cycling, yes. This is the name of the sport we give to bicycle racing. We don't say bicycle racing, we say cycling. cycling. Now, is that an individual sport or team? Team sport. Well done, guys. So Pat, you can place it on the correct side of the board, and then we can help Pat to spell the sport cycling. C 
Y C L C Y C L I N G. Well done, Pat. That's correct. So we can say cycling, cycling. Team, sport. team sport. Excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pat, please, guys. Okay, so on to our next flashcard. And the next flashcard is with Nadia. So Nadia, come and join me at the front of class. Now, what sport has Nadia got, guys? Boxing is correct. How many people can you see in the picture? One. One. So does that mean team sport or individual sport? Individual sport. Well done, Pak Bung. So Nadia, what side of the boards will you place it on? Correct. And then let's help Nadia to spell the sport. Boxing. B. O. X. I. N. G. Great stuff. All together, guys. Boxing. Individual sports. High five and a big round of applause for Nadia, please, guys. So by looking at the pictures on the board, you can begin to get a sense of the different types of sports. The team sports we do with others and the individual sports we play alone. So let's do some more with our next student. So let's see if Chu can guess what sport this is. So two, come and join me at the front of class. Now guys, can anyone guess what sport we have here? This is football. Now do we play football alone? We play as a team, correct down. So two, we can place football in the team sports category. Excellent. And then we can help Chu to spell the sport football. So we begin F O O T and then ball B A L L. Excellent. Chu, very well done. So all together, football, team sport. Yes. Chu, can you say football, team sport? Excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Chu, please, guys. And then on to the next one. And the next flashcard is with Dan. So Dan, please come and join me at the front of class. And who can remember this sport? Skiing. Skiing. Yes. Do you think we can play this sport in Thailand? No. no. We need to be in a cold country where there is lots of snow. In order to do skiing, we need snow. So it's not a sport we can play in Thailand. But is this a sport we play as part of a team or play alone? Alone, correct. So that means it's an individual sport. And let's help down to spell the word skiing. S, K, I, and then I again, N, G. Excellent, Dan. Very well done. So we can say together, skiing, individual sport. Dan, that was very good. High five and a big round of applause for Dan, please, guys. Okay, and on to the next one. The next flashcard is with Prel. So Prel, come and join me at the front, please. So who can guess? Who knows what sport this is? Again? Baseball, not basketball. Comes from the same country. This is a sport they play in America. And so is basketball. But this one, baseball. But what type of sport, guys? Is that somebody playing alone? Team sport. Team sport. Well done. So 
Hello, can you find the police for baseball? And then help to spell B A S E and then all B A L L. Excellent, Prel. Very well done. So all together, guys, baseball, baseball. Team, sports. team sports. Prel, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Prel, please, guys. Okay, on to the final couple of sports now. So let's see who's next. And the next one is with Bang Pong. So Bang Pong, come and join me at the front of class. So let's see what sport Pang Pong has on his flashcard. Volleyball, yes. And again, volleyball is an example of team sport. So Pang Pong, if we can find the space just over here, that's perfect, well done. And then volleyball is spelt V-O-L-L-E-Y. V. Perfect, Pang Pong, very well done. So together we can say, Volleyball, volleyball. Team, sport. team sport. Perfect. Pang Pong, that was excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pang Pong, guys. And now on to our final student. So let's see what sport Lak Gao will have. So Lak Gao, bring your flash card forward to the front of class. And I think you'll all be able to guess this one. Swimming. What type of sport is swimming? Individual sport, yes. The, the type of sport we play alone. So Lakau, can you find the space for swimming? Very good. And then how do we spell swimming, guys? S-W-I-M-M-I-N-G. And we can say swimming individual sports perfect Lakau that was excellent high five big round of applause for Lakau guys and now we've got all of the vocabulary on the board let's practice speaking one more time individual sports swimming golf skiing and boxing Every single one is done alone. But then we have team sports like volleyball, basketball, baseball, cycling, and football. Guys, that was brilliant. Very well done. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, make sure every student in class gets their own worksheet. And what we've got today is a pictogram activity. What our students need to do is they need to look at the pictures of all of the different sports. And then in the spaces for each number, spell the name of that sport correctly. And if they do so, what they will see is in the shaded squares going down, they will see a secret message. So we'll see what the secret message is at the end of class. So what's the first thing to do, guys? Write your names on top. And give our students around 10 minutes for this activity and help them with any spellings of the sports that they need. So, Lakau, this one's for you. Bang one for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Prel, you're welcome. Down for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Chu for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Nadia, this one's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Pat, here's yours. You're welcome, Pangpon. You're welcome, Annette, for you. You're welcome, Pagpong. So first one, guys. Not quite swimming. It's one that we can do in a swimming pool when we have to jump off. Flying. <laughs> Not quite flying. It is. And it's an individual sport. Diving. Diving is the name of our first sport in picture number one. 
What do we think? Boxing. Yes. Boxing is number two. B O X I N G. Boxing. Not bicycle, what do we call the sport for bicycle? Cycling, well done. But you're right though, we do it with a bicycle. Volleyball. And then what one, I'll tell you what one is difficult, number six. The one with horses is called equestrian. So number six, guys, I'll help you with that one because you'll need it. Equestrian. Five is running. So we'll let down number six, the one with the horse, equestrian. A very strange sounding sport, one that we haven't seen before, equestrian. What do we think for number five, guys? Running. R-U-N-N-I-N-G, running. Nobody. Okay, well, what it might be, equestrian is also known horse riding. Okay, there's two names for the sport. Horse riding because I think horse riding fits better. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to look at the pictures of all of the various sports and then write the names correctly in the spaces provided. Now, if everything's done correctly, we will see there is a secret message in the shaded boxes going down. And the secret message should be, do you... Do, do any, sports. any sports. Very well done, guys. So a big round of applause for everyone. <laughs> and that's the end of today's lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it and had some fun too and getting to know the different types of sports. Individual, where we play alone, and team sports, where we play with others as part of a team. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. See you again soon.